All right, hello guys and welcome to the channel. So today we're going to be talking about the game that happened today between Slavia Prague and Barcelona. So Barcelona ended the game beating Slavia Prague 2-1. So even though we won, it wasn't a very convincing game. So first I'd like to talk about Griezmann. So Griezmann, he wasn't very convincing the way he didn't contribute in any way. He wasn't attacking, he wasn't um, playing the passes right, he wasn't playing well, well with his teammates. And so I know that he was playing out of position, but... In times like this, when you're in the UCL, you have to come up in some way. And Griezmann was there for neither. Then I'd like to move on to Suarez. So Suarez also had a hard time connecting with his two teammates, with Messi and and Griezmann. Suarez was just misplacing a lot of passes, and he looked very sluggish and slow. I mean, like, look, even though he scored, that's good. But the thing is, thing is, it just wasn't enough. Like, he, it, if anything, it was an own goal. And he he did contribute some way in that goal, but it was at the end of the day it was an own goal, and it it just wasn't enough, especially when you're playing against a team like Slavia Prague. Then I want to move on to the midfield really quick. So the midfield, like I hate to say it, like I know that I know that De Jong and Arthur have been playing have been playing brilliantly, but in today's game, what happened this tonight, it wasn't good. Slavia Prague came with high press, and when they did pressure our players, our midfield, they didn't know how to react. They were way too slow, and when De Jong or Arthur had the ball, and two players were trying to pressure pressure either De Jong or Arthur, they didn't know what to do with it, and they just tried to pass the ball somewhere, just so they don't have the ball and, and lose it. And so our defense needs to be able to learn how to deal with these type of situations, because when De Jong and Arthur face a team like Liverpool or Man City or Bayern, or Juventus or any other top level teams, we have to know how to react to those situations because that could really cost us once we get into the semifinals or finals or quarterfinals or wh whatever it is. We have to learn how to deal with the situations. And so I was hoping for v I was hoping for Vidal to do something to change that midfield and you know be more dynamic and and put put and put pressure on Slavia Prague instead of Slavia Prague putting pressure on us. But the thing is, Vidal didn't have enough time. He came in only for like twenty minutes, so I can't really say much about him. But he played decent. And then the same thing happened with Piquet and Lenglet. It's, it's the same story. Leng, Lenglet and Piquet, just, they have their moments. They they do have a chemistry, but the thing is, it's not consistent. And when it's not consistent, there's going to be times where you fail and you fail badly. And this is and that's what happened with Slavia Prague. And that is what happened against Slavia Prague. They misplaced so many passes. They weren't looking at each other eye to eye saying, oh, I see you there. I'm going to pass it to you. They didn't do that. They were... They were looking down at the ball, and then they passed it wherever they they felt like it, and that ball didn't go to their to their uh, to their teammate. It went to like to either Slavia Prague or it went up to like no one, and that's very dangerous, especially when you're a defender and you're taking risk passes like that. It's just it's not that's not acceptable on top level football. So when the second half hit, so when when we came into the second half, we were very nervous. We let Slavia Prague have so many chances and run over us, and and it, when we play against a team like that, that shouldn't happen because we're Barcelona. We know how to deal with play with a team like Liverpool and Juventus and and Bayern. We have a history of knowing how to do that. But against Slavia Prague, who are new to the UCL, doing that to us. That's unacceptable. And so when I was watching the game in the second half, I'm like, man, I, th I, I really do feel like we're playing against Liverpool because the way Sla Slavia Prague was attacking us, it's like they could score at any second. So if you look at the stats, I'm going to put it right here on the screen. It, sa it says that Slavia Prague has 48% possession and Barza has 52% possession. So when did we ever in our life give another team 48% 48 percent possession and even if we do it would be against a top level team and that's okay right but against Slavia Prague like why the heck are we giving them 48 percent possession and that's how you know that's proof that Slavia Prague was taking advantage of the opportunities that we were giving them and it's mainly because of the midfield the midfield had no control in this in on the field there was even a point in the game where Tostijan saved us twice in under 30 seconds because of all the misplaced passes and miscommunication that we had on the field and so the reason why I'm complaining so much and the reason why I'm critiquing so much is because this is super unacceptable against a team like this because again when a team like Juventus or Man City come in our way it's going to be a real big problem and I'm seeing the exact same pattern we we saw in the past UCL in the past UCL games like against Liverpool and against Roma like it's all fun and games right in the quarterfinals in the group stages where we're barely winning 4-2 or 4-3 or we won 3-2 but once we do hit that critical stage, it's not going to be all fun and games no more. They're actually going to beat us and knock us out. And our defense, our midfield needs to get organized. Like, you could say to me right now, like, yeah, uh, okay, Kevin, but we won 2-1. It doesn't matter. We won. But the thing is, if we could, 
I seen this pattern already. You and me seen this pattern already and what happened in 2017 and 2018. It's the inconsistency on the on the performances. And I don't want to see this again. I don't want to play play against a Juventus team or an Inter Milan team and they beat us 1-0 in the semifinals or quarterfinals. So look, yes, I am relieved. I'm not happy. I'm relieved that we got the three points, right? So let's look at the positive sides. We got the three points where if... If we check the table right now, we have seven points. Dortmund has four. Inter Milan has four. So we're in a pretty good spot. But but the thing is, Barza cannot react to the situation that they were in. And Slavia Prague were attacking us and running us over. And if Barza doesn't learn how to, how to react and how to attack back into situations like this, we won't make it far into the UCL. Which leads me into Valverde. Like, what type of mentality is Valverde injecting into his into his own squad because in those last 10 minutes barza was just hoping they were just hoping for that game to finish and they just wanted to take that 2-1 win and go home they didn't want to react to that game they didn't want to make it a 3-1 and close that game they were just passing the ball kicking the ball away and just hoping that the game was done and for the ref to blow the whistle there's two critiques that i want to give to valverde one is if something doesn't work in the first half then change it in the second half it's not going to work in the second half and when and when you do change something you need to change that immediately don't wait until the 70th minute or 80th minute to change something because Vidal and Dembele came in like in the 75th minute when they should have gone in in the second half in the beginning of the second half and also Vidal and Dembele were the only positives I saw on the attack so the thing is the game could have been better if Valverde did the right choice earlier. So those are the, the critiques that I want to give to Valverde. I hope that we learn from this. I really do. Because if we do, then we should have no problem going into the UCL and playing against Inter and Dortmund. So it's, it's, those are just two very simple fixes. We can do that. I do believe in my team. I'm just disappointed that we had to do this today against a team like Salvia Prague. So let's just forget about this game. Let's continue to move forward. We have a lot of games to play, so we can continue to get better. It's still very early in the season, so I still have hope for this team. I still have hope for my for my Barza. So that is what happened in today's game. I appreciate you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.